You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Awkward After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. Uh... And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Awkward After Show. Baby. We oh, can't wait. <laughs> we just talked about this yesterday. We can't I can't wait. <laughs> okay, stop. Just, just don't. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Sorry about Jason blowing in your ears right now. But this is the AfterBuzz TV. I know. Yeah. No, no, I was trying to become Tiana in that moment. <laughs> Boy, you wish. This is the awkward season finale. It's season four, episode 10, Snowjob. Um, Say that again? <laughs> Mid-season finale. Mid-season finale, Snowjob. Snowjob. Yeah. So you can <laughs> let that register in your head and think what you want. I am your host, Tiana Hobson, and I have a very full panel tonight of giggling little girls. Wow. <laughs> I'm heated. I'm mad. I can't. I'm like still really... I'm bothered not, by what yeah, just happened. Yeah, a lot just happened. Joining me tonight, I have Giselle Ugarte. What's up? What's up? Christina Sias. <laughs> yeah, I'm giggling. I'm really excited about this episode. And the one and only Miss Jason Eichler. That is homophobic <laughs> and wrong, and I will not answer to that. <laughs> but you Everybody, just hashtag Tiana's homophobic, please. <laughs> just don't just, drag After Buzz TV in that. <laughs> yeah, just no. So tonight was the mid-season finale. A lot of things happened. Christina's on one of her giggle fits again. Yeah, because this episode was crazy. I felt like I was watching Pretty Little Liars. But yeah. didn't I say last week that I thought the things were about to get really crazy? Okay. And you made fun of me for watching too much. Because you said it was going to be like CIA, CSA, Did you see her whatever, room? No. whatever that is. Yeah. Your predictions were even creepier than the episode <laughs> in itself because I don't know how you knew that but you were very accurate I will say that throughout the season really yeah and I have to say I feel like at the beginning of the season we were kind of bashing on the writers like what is going on why are they doing all these changes but this episode was genius and everything yeah. like in came the most together. twisted disgusting way possible it, it it kind of scared me a little bit. There I was, think it like, actually I, did scare me. It did scare me. No I hiding. actually was hiding into Jason's <laughs> shoulder, which is so embarrassing. But it was, one, creepy. Two, there's a lot of changes that I don't feel very comfortable with. One, I guess we're going to get into, being Lissa. What? <laughs> oh, I, call, I would like Jason to say that, that was my prediction. Oh, that, oh. and you sat Excuse there, saying, and thank you, thank you. Kofi sat here, and you said that to I him. I knew that was going to happen. Wait, how are they not legal brother and sister didn't they adopt him isn't he's he like 18? 18 so they, so they brought him in it's like <laughs> that just, what's that so movie? they're babysitting him it's like an exchange student yeah oh i mean they just came back from africa oh, I'm <laughs> the saying, way they're treating is, him is I'm like i'm about to order an exchange student <laughs> <laughs> and he looks like Kofi. yeah hello here let me save you <laughs> save you here little child yeah. Oh, I didn't oh, realize my. that. Yeah. I thought they like full on adopted. No. All right. So let's get into this senior ski trip, which I mean, I don't know if you guys got to go on a senior ski trip, but I sure as heck didn't. So that trip looked like a lot of fun, though. I took like a bus trip, but it was to New York. Not. I went to on a ski trip, but it was not overnight. Yeah. yeah that that was very thing. chaperone. Oh, I know. I did. Being overnight. I think I did. Yeah, oh. Speaking of the chaperones, um, they weren't chaperoning very well because all the students were just there to hook up, including um, Theo and Cole. I mean, I think they were my favorite part of this episode. Yeah, where have they been all season? Yeah. Did we I know could... they were gay all season? Did we did know they were that? even here all I season? Could tell. Yeah, because they've been because they've been videotaping like <laughs> all the highlights. Really good oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought they were hilarious. This I whole thought time. they were like setting them up for their own spinoff. Yeah, that's kind of. Didn't feel like that? Like we're gonna feature them heavily, and then coming up next year on MTV. <laughs> it kind of felt like Karen and Jack from Will and Grace. Like they're just the fun little. A yeah. little bit. Yeah. yeah, you know, they're the fun little sidekicks who pop in and Works you know. Me do their thing um well they decided that they should all play this key game key wherever key have a key party because i don't play that 
because they're sick of all the heteros <laughs> being all like sexually frustrated. So in their pit to get everyone to hook up at this key party, Lissa and Tyler end up getting paired up. Jason called this last week, so kudos to you. Thank you. Christina, you said you felt weird about this. What are your feelings about this? Like, well, why are one, you so I thought they out? were legally brother and sister. Even if that Even was the case, there's were. no blood. There's not, there's not blood related, so that baby and will also, turn out okay. <laughs> I don't know. Just, I don't know. It just is really wrong to me. We also don't know if they did the dirty because oh. last we know of Lissa, she was only, I mean, I guess she was doing the back door <laughs> thing, but that didn't count for her either. <laughs> but that's still a lot. Okay, anyway. Um, I feel like I don't know. even if they just made out, I'm uncomfortable with it. I, maybe I'm a prude. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I've, just never, I've wrong. never made out with my brother either. Right? Um, Tiana, do you have anything you want to say? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've never made out with either of my brothers because that's disgusting. But we're actually, See, that's why. But we're actually blood related and came out of the same like what baby vagina. hole. Oh my god, vagina! <laughs> I wasn't oh my god! Um, no, I think if he's, they've only known each other for like a year. It's Glad not even. Like, it's like. It's like December now, I'm going to assume. Like a couple or like months. Yeah, winter, it's fine. So. I just want her to phrase it as, oh, this is the foreign exchange student living with us. I mean, not my brother. Well, I bet she well, won't it's a brother, brother is in children of God. Yeah, brother in Christ. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm, 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 I can go with. <laughs> she felt the Holy Spirit. I mean, and Tyler was really feeling her because he was the one who kept, you know, Kind of be like, hey, it's okay. Oh, like we haven't done anything, you know. Yeah. Don't feel bad. We're not. You know, we're not actually related, right? He was kind of. Yeah, but she's yeah. a good Christian girl, so she can't do anything. Yeah. So I think anyways. he was using his fancy accent and all the words it. to confuse her. Just but he sad. went in for it. How and feels good. Yeah. And he got what he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? We're just, we're just talking about how good sexual. hell feels. Oh yeah, hell, hell did feel <laughs> real good for Alyssa. Um, so I think it'll be interesting to see what more comes from that because even on the bus ride back you know after the blackout list is like oh yeah i was so scared by myself because i was alone and all alone and i was so sure that <laughs> she and jake were gonna hook up i, I know me too. too or even just you know just a little kiss but kisses. i feel like after jake is with tamara lissa's just equally as crazy so to go back from crazy to crazy he needs like a sane girl yeah, or but I kind of liked tomorrow. him with Tamara in this episode. Oh, I, 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 I thought cute. they were so cute, but I don't think he'll go to Alyssa because it's like even more He's crazy. He's crazy. Yeah. 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 I mean, well, let's talk about Jake and Tamara because in this episode, they're finally getting along for the first time in forever after the key party. And PPFFs. Then, yeah. That's what it was, right? <laughs> yeah. Perma posse friends forever. I yeah, something that. like that. That's good. Too many, too many letters for me. <laughs> Spelling's hard. Spelling's hard. I keep telling you, Hooked on Phonics did not work for me. I'm glad they made up, though, because I felt like there's, like, too much. They're both, like, the staples in their friendship. Totally. So they need to be a little more sane. Because if they're the ones, without with them acting crazy, that just makes Jenna and Maddie even more crazy. Mm -hmm. Because those are the two that kind of talk Jenna and Maddie down, like, in this moment with, you know, Jenna yelling at Eva and her and Maddie getting along not getting along i felt like jake and tamara needed to be there to kind of bring them back both back down to earth i'm surprised that eva hasn't gone after their friendship like she's the only one jake at all it's the only one that she hasn't it's, touched it's the only friendship that doesn't threaten her though well she's not kinda... yet we don't know what happens <laughs> and also i mean jake i think ended off being like i can't believe maddie blew me off so maybe there is something happening there too but it seems like she's just going after girls hmm. And us and girls, Maddie. we gotta yeah. stick together. <laughs> <laughs> not in high school. Yeah. yeah, that's not how it works. But yeah. I did love that you know tomorrow apologized to Jake and that she even said you know I want to look back on high school and not think of you know me being crazy and yeah. us not being friends and getting along. What I really liked about it too is that well, when I'm happy that they didn't hook up, and it's always hard for couples to I mean be friends after they break up. And I feel like Jenna and Maddie were never friends. Yeah. There's but always you, something going on. Do you on. honestly yeah. think it's feasible to be in a cabin in the cold, locked in a room for six hours with your ex and just play video games? Yeah. Yes. When you're in high school. Oh. <laughs> I think even if, no. I think that's, yes. I think there's too much, like, pent tension. Yeah, what, do they, what do they call it? Straight, hetero, sexual? Sexual tension was different in high school. I guess that's true. But they have been doing a lot of, like, a lot of banging, all of them. 
And I guess, well, I guess he never gave That's her an different. orgasm, yeah, it was, though. It wasn't, yeah. So maybe she didn't want it's it. Maybe he tried. <laughs> She's like, I need a lady, I need some lady bits now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's going to go on with her and her lesbian tendencies? I think it won't happen until, like, junior year of college. I don't know. Or maybe that they'll use Tamara to sabotage Eva by being a, her lesbian Ooh, lover. that would be hot. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe. Ooh. Ooh. To be determined. Yeah, we <laughs> shall see. And we had um, Mama and Papa, Papa bleh, Hamilton as the sh- chaperones during the episode, which, I mean, what were they actually chaperoning besides themselves? Because they were under the blanket on the bus, you know, <laughs> making out when Jenna Brooks walked They're on so it. They're so cute, too. though. Yeah, they would be the best chaperones to have on a school trip, though. Between yeah. them and Val, you can pretty much do anything you want. Oh. Right. oh, all right. <laughs> Fire! Don't worry. I was about to stop, drop, and roll, but we're good. Is this a prank? <laughs> um, when my my parents chaperoned one of my high school trips, and my dad was like the cool dad that would like sneak us out at night, really, and yeah. let us like go do things. Liability. Yeah. I know. No, I mean my mom. We don't have liabilities <laughs> in Ortonville. Yeah. My mom did my eighth grade trip to DC, and we had so much fun. We just didn't go to the museums we were supposed to go to. She was like, "I'm tired, aren't you guys?" <laughs> and like, we went back on the bus and just slept. It was amazing. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> okay. No, my parents thankfully have never chaperoned anything. I feel like they would be like very by the rules. Oh, they'd be like, "What is wrong with our daughter?" <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> like I'd be like the one organizing the getaway against my my parents. Your chaperone. Parents. I just appreciated how it was their first senior ski trip, or their last. I don't know if they yeah. like, missed the first one because she was pregnant with Jenna, or and that that was their. You know, or, or, over, was, yeah. Yeah. or if that was, you know, them just wanting to relive their their high school young days. years. I felt like we missed a scene when he got hurt on the hill. Like, it didn't really... Where'd you go? When'd yeah. you go? I think that it was just, you know, she didn't want to go out. He kept saying he wanted to go out for the fresh powder, and so he went off by himself. I don't think it was very well kind of... Executed. Set, executed. Because yeah. all of a sudden was, she's like really upset, and you're like, "What? What just happened?" Yeah, and it's nighttime too. Yeah, <laughs> like he went off early in the morning. I'm still surprised with how okay they are with uh, Jenna and Luke. Yeah, like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna drive a couple hours, come stay with your That's daughter. That's what in a I didn't understand. Room, if like, it's right. really like a high school even sponsored from the very trip. Why is he even yeah. there? Yeah, how how does he? And, and I even think just it's creepy that he shows up. I think that's so weird to do. Just show up without telling somebody for like a whole weekend. Yeah. Like what if this was like her best friend's weekend with her? Like he already crashed one of those, you know? It's also like her last weekend to be with her senior class sort of thing. Yeah. I mean, not her. I don't know. I don't I don't like, like, I don't like, like it is still anymore. winter. She hasn't got Plus, to graduate. Plus, I should with the finale, okay? Because, because, like, like, like the we season's don't know like so confusing. where we are at. Yeah. But that's time. the thing with the show. We're always, it's always summer and we're, I feel like it's we're having a Halloween episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's just how this works. And I and I loved that Val was flirting with that bear oh the my whole God. time. And that's then so when funny. she finally gets to see him, Who's he was really hot. cute. He was so hot. And the whole time I'm thinking he's going to be some like loser with like a little Mexican. beer gut and like, you know, reek of like a old Santa Claus or something. Maybe it's because the last hot guy she had had a small wiener. So Probably. now she's Probably. like, I'm going to go for and was guys. married. married. Yeah. Or bears. But I mean, it seemed it's like... personality. Yeah, I love that she was like, you know what? I think I need to get checked out because, you know, I was more attracted to the bear than <laughs> to the yeah, man she Maybe the I should get a dog. <laughs> maybe what if he just, that like, is a pretty good sign. What if he just kept on like the bear head? I mean... I don't know. That could be a thing. It I'm is sure a thing. People do that. It's called furries. Yeah. Oh, sick. <laughs> hey, don't knock until you try it, Jason. It's on True Life. Have you tried Another it, MTV Tiana? Really? Yeah. That people hook up with furries? Yeah. Wait, oh, don't other furries hook up with each other? Uh, yeah. They're like furry parties. How do they actually have sex? I think it's different for every... I don't... I don't I'm not a furry guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just clear Giselle, that. you know a lot like, about this. Giselle, what this do you show actually just do? took a whole twist. What do you dress up as? <laughs> Um, anyway. <laughs> I'm Hello Kitty. <laughs> I was really interested to hear more about that. I don't know a lot about it. Okay. But well, I just, that I could just be, thought that hey, writers, True that Life. could be a plot twist for next season. <laughs> twist. And a double plug for MTV True Life. Yeah, there you go. You're welcome. Um, let's see. Langley says that he thinks that Luke was way too bitchy to Jenna. IMO. What does IMO mean? In my opinion. In, in my, my opinion. <laughs> in, in mine, too. I agree, too. 
Because, and also creepy. Like, leave her alone for a minute. Yeah. And also, she she's not outside for, like, five minutes, and he packs up his stuff and leaves. It was, like, like, glam down. It was, like, 20 minutes between those text messages. Wait a minute. And rewind back to that. She fell, and then he continued to get on the ski lift with her, yeah. too. Yeah. And then didn't stop to check. Didn't Just ask like, her how she bye. was. Yeah. And then, I'm sorry, but that was so set up. Like, how did Jenna spill the hot chocolate on her? She well, oh, Eva yeah. did that on purpose. Eva right? did it on purpose. Yeah. yeah. But and, why did Luke not see? Because Jenna was literally standing there, and then she bumped her. Yeah. Yeah. She come up and she came up and said, "Hey." And I know that even without bumping me, if you came from behind me, sometimes that sounds dirty. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a, I'm a child. Um, but if you came up behind me and just said something, I would probably jump and be scared too, too. and knock something out of your hand. Just I like, think Jenna, that you knew I was there the whole time. Yeah, I wish he was like, no, she didn't, bitch. Yeah. yeah. I like, get off her. I would have dumped the other hot chocolate on her. <laughs> yeah. Back off. Back off, Eva. Put it in her face. Third degree burns. We saw her a lot this episode, kind of getting people in trouble, especially with Sadie on the bus with, yeah. to begin with. You know, she gets Sadie kicked off the trip. Yeah, but that wasn't really her fault. I mean, like, Sadie, like, I thought did assault I would, her. I love that but Sadie she had did that. Reason yeah, no, it's amazing that she did it. She lied to Maddie about that situation and about the underwear situation. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like Eva had it coming. Sadie did the right thing. And regardless, the way Eva tried to play so in- innocent, that's what got... Sadie kicked off. It was that, you know, she was like, I don't know what I did. To but her, I'm sure I did something. But it's, and it's all my fault. And I'm the victim here. <laughs> and me. you're just like, oh, I yeah. don't like you. Like, I hate you, but you're also just so good at But I just viral. love, yeah. love, love when a girl gets pissed and then just starts like it going to <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, you go, Molly. So then we get into the whole like, Uncrashing of Eva. Wait, actually, I just want to first take a moment to acknowledge Molly Tarlov- Tarlov's face when she got off the bus. <laughs> <laughs> it was so was good. She went through so many it was like, emotions uh, on her face in a three-second period, yeah. maybe. She was pregnant She's with emotions. Great. Molly, you're my hero. I know. You're my idol. I want to be you when I grow oh, up. Where did that pregnancy stick come from? I know we'll get to it, but like... <laughs> yeah. Scary. Um, so we have, you know, now you've pissed off Sadie. So Sadie's going to go get some freaking answers. So yeah. she goes and picks up her Mexican. Her, yeah. He <laughs> is so hot. Yeah. He's by far the hottest guy in the episode. He needs to go to Palos Verdes Hills. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he's in high school. Oh. Oh, that's even whatever. hotter. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he just seems like he's taking a walk. And he has outside. his own food truck. What a man. I don't think it's his. It's it? Sadie. Oh. <laughs> I don't think she owns it, does she? But she's so. he's like oh, the cook and she's like the Well, either HBIC. way, he has his own food truck. <laughs> or at least a food truck license you yeah. know, to drive a truck. Okay, so he can drive and cook. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. He's and a solid dad, man. I know. Romantical <laughs> right there. Um, but they show up at Eva's house, allegedly. Yeah. Um, which is very house. nice. The Mansfield's house. And... The real Eva Mansfield comes out and... It looks and like Lisa Rinna. <laughs> it is Lisa Rinna. Oh. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. It looks like Rachel Belson's house from the OC. Oh, it, it did. Like house. It did, did look it? like Summer's yeah. house a little bit. Interesting. They filmed it in Palos Verdes. The OC, just so you know. Oh. oh. I have all the seasons. <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> anyway. Um, anyways, well, we find out from the real Eva Mansfield that, you know, her credit's been ruined, her... Bills of identity has been stolen. Um, that this girl's na- real name is what Amber, Amber Horn. Amber, yeah. Horn. Amber Horn. Well, no, we found that out from um, food truck guy. Oh yeah, dad, his dad. Because they couldn't release the name since she's a minor. Yeah. Which... But how is this possible? I mean, first of all, that's really scary if that could happen. I feel like it can. Yeah, and ruin your credit, ruin everything, and is it? Someone who's stolen your identity. And for it to be a minor and then you not even be able to do anything about it, because at least if you if you know who the person is and you can go after them, that's one thing. But it's a minor. In oh, this... so they don't know who it was. Well, they know, but they I couldn't don't think tell they can't her because it was a minor. But yeah. is that, I don't know if that's the real law or not. Well, she can't get her money back. And, she, and the credit people still think that, you know, she can't prove that she's who she actually is. But, I mean, it's not doing anything too bad for her because she still has a very nice house so that's true i mean clearly the money is not really an issue 
there. Unless she's a sugar daddy. I wonder how she's doing it all. I mean, obviously, when we go to meet her grandmother, we see how crazy she is because we get a little look into her bedroom, which, bringing it back to last week's predictions, Tiana. Yes. You are spot Okay, but doesn't that read, does anybody watch Pretty Little Liars? No. No. And I would be obviously very scared. This character Mona has like a lair, and that's what it's like. Like, she's like plotting out everybody in the school. And there's like an X through Sadie's face. This is face. giving okay. little girls bad ideas. This is where bullying comes from. <laughs> it's terrifying. Well, what happens bullying in that Bullying and like psycho killers. Oh, everybody yeah. dies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think Not MTV really. is going to take... anyone dies. I don't think MTV is going to go to kill everyone. I kinda, but didn't it feel like you were like... Because like you said, we were genuinely scared. Yeah. Like we were yeah. watching a different show. It was very suspenseful. Yeah. And that's the... Worst Which kind is kind of cool because you, you weren't kind of like scary. not expecting it at all. Yeah. But I, also, how white trash is her grandma? Oh, her oh, poor grandmother. Poor how she's small is that bed? Can. That's what really her grandma's a hoarder. Her grandma true. is a hoarder. Did yeah. you see that house? Disgusting. I mean, it was sad. Poor thing. I mean, you know, they live in San Pedro, not Palos. Only white is. people in the neighborhood. Yeah, it seems. only only whites <laughs> there. <It's> just sad. <laughs> It's really hard. So she was. Do you guys think she was really homeschooled up until senior year of high school? I feel like I that's the only she, way you can plot all of those things. I think, like, how does she get? How does she even know who they are? I guess we should ask our spy expert. <laughs> yeah, Tiana, how does she know who they are? Well, here's the thing that I'm Instagram still trying Facebook. to figure out. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, because they friend everybody. Actually, seems. I'm going to save that prediction for predictions. Okay. Well, wait. We want to know what you think happened. Yeah, are you that's, this that's down? my prediction. Tiana, we, but we're, this, we this is a conversation. <laughs> this isn't yeah. the Tiana show. Okay, yeah. so I think that when Jenna's blog went public, she was reading it, uh, saw all the ins and outs of their Smart. lives, <laughs> and then went after them because she she even said when you know in the cabin, you I just wanted to have a good friend group of friends like you. You guys all seem to get along so well. But I was kind of thinking in my head, why would she say it, phrase it that, that way? way? Because oh. it could have been like, well, I just saw how good you guys are. But she just said, I just wanted to group of friends like you. So I think that she read Jenna's blog and, and then knew who everyone was, knew the school, was able to go over there and plot her. Jenna, like, you're a genius. Wow. Guys, I'm just telling you, awkward writers, come find me. I got <laughs> <I know>. this. <laughs> wow. That's I interesting. I use a job right now. That, I mean, that actually seems very possible. Her grandma probably thinks that she's still homeschooling. I mean, her grandma thought, thought she, she was, was down there studying. Which is actually studying. really scary. That is scary. <laughs> Don't homeschool How did she get yeah. out of there? Sadie yeah. discovers all this and doesn't even mention the bills or the cycle wall when she comes into the cabin, which is also... She did say she had pictures of the room, but then, you know, Eva did her whole... Dropped the pregnancy yeah. off. Sob story. <laughs> Maddie, I, I want to tell you everything. But and you got to do... You have to give Eva credit because she's really good. Like, yeah. you were like... Like, for a second, I'm like, oh, do I feel bad for... No, I don't feel bad for Eva. But, like, the, you're like, oh, maybe she did have a really rough life. And, like, it is sad. But, nope, she's just crazy. I never once felt bad. I wanted to see you next Tuesday punt her. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree. Like... I mean, even if she did have, like, a horrible childhood, like, her her mom did leave for Vegas, you know, years ago and never come back. But regardless of that, what have these people done to you? Why are yeah. you Why are you going after other people? Go after your mom. She's been watching Pretty Little Liars. Yeah. yeah she's yeah, been trapped true. in that basement, yeah. watching Pretty Little Liars, and now she's out to kill everyone, apparently, because that's what they do. Wait, do you think she's going to, like, was she just trying to sabotage everybody, though? Like, what do you think her intentions are? Is what I don't really get, like the yeah. purpose of it. Yeah, I agree. Like, what's her? I think she wants to be maybe the, the most popular girl in school, or like she wants to just like feel wanted or needed by everyone. I think she just wanted to get in there in that group and be social. And I think I I do think that she does have feelings for Maddie. I think those are genuine, but I think that she's going about it all in the wrong way. But do you think that's the main reason she went to the school for like, Maddie? Or, because it, it doesn't make sense why, like, every single person at the school, she would try to ruin their lives. Yeah. Unless somebody did something because to her. Because they're in her path to Maddie. So because you think, think that Sadie, it's all about Maddie. Sadie has, didn't like her. Sadie doesn't like anyone. So she kind of, you know, put that thing in the air for, you know, Maddie But I don't know what that her. would have to do with Maddie. I think she Because thought... she sabotaged Sadie's relationship, which would, you know what I mean? I don't. Hmm. But then she also kind of destroyed her relationship with Maddie, too. 
by saying, oh, hey, you know, she told me that, you know, she actually has feelings yes, for right. you. And, you know, just she's in Maddie's ear like a I little serpent. I think there's serpent. something more. Yeah, I don't think it's all what about What do you think Maddie. there is? I don't know. Somebody wronged her. She's a she's a wronged woman. Maybe she really wants Jenna. Oh. She has a huge crush on her. That's why she's oh. got the panties in her bed. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> like, here, Jenna for later. <laughs> she could really want Jenna. Maybe that's why she's so threatened by her. Maybe she's just like a Jenna stalker. Well, I mean, if oh. she was reading her blog, right. then yeah. I guess yeah. that's true. This Interesting. show scares this, me now. I know. We have never had talks <laughs> because, like this. Because this I'm went not from a detective. like a comedy to like a thriller yeah. Yeah. in like 45 two seconds. minutes. <laughs> and who, did anybody even get a snow job? Yeah, that Horia Gloria gave oh, a handy. Hopefully not... Mr. Hamilton. Oh, <laughs> I know. And we don't know so what exactly injury. Tyler did. Oh, I think they did everything. Yeah. You think Speaking so? of which, yeah. I don't know if anyone Maybe caught this. Maybe the pregnancy test is hers. <gasps> oh. Uh, I, mean, I don't think so. Don't but, but it'd be really cool. But it's that would be really soon. It'd be too soon. It'd be too soon. It'd be, it'd too, be soon. too soon. Too soon. Okay. Too soon. Sorry. But I don't know if anyone else caught this back to Alyssa and Tyler for just a second. But there was a flowers in the attic reference um, because Cole and Theo were like, oh, were there any flowers in that there. attic? And I don't know if anyone got that, but I just want to give a shout out to the writers because I thought that was funny. <laughs> I don't know. It's a, it's like a, um, it's a book that Lifetime oh. just made into. No, no Lifetime know, just I'd made it into that, a movie and it's about um, siblings who are locked in the attic by like their grandmother or their mother and um, they end up falling in love and they're like doing things together because they're not allowed to go outside or anything. So it's about an incestuous relationship uh, of a brother and sister. And there's more to it. My mom was explaining uh, it to me one day, and then I just kind of stopped listening. But then I heard that, and I was like, oh. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's a movie oh. reference in here, so I just wanted to give a shout-out because wow. I noticed that I was the only one. Cool. Yeah. Um, I, I, I noticed it, I, I'm and just I trying to out. think about that. <laughs> I noticed yeah. it, and I kind of had heard of like I the whatever, but I didn't. Um, yeah, put it all together yeah. flowers in your so. I thought it was like dust off the bookshelf sort of thing I thought it was like um, never like mind flowering, like yeah, she hasn't gotten anything yeah. flowering and like she needs like never mind yeah. someone yeah. Needs, yeah. To go needs the pipes attic. cleaned exactly yeah. <laughs> um, so this whole time Jenna and <laughs> Jenna was and... a whistle or yeah. was that, well, that was my whistle <laughs> Jenna and Sadie who don't like each other are working together to try and find I loved that yeah. Yeah, to find Eva and Maddie. They get there and they're trying to convince Maddie that she's a lying sack of crap. And Maddie just is unfaltering falteringly loyal Say it again. to her. <laughs> Falter I can't. Unwaver- <laughs> unwavering. She's uh, unwavering. He's unwavering. I I and- like I kind of get it because it seems like Jenna's been so psycho in the past. But why would Sadie come all the way there? to tell you this and why would Sadie I think the fact that Sadie and Jenna are getting along should tell you something's up yeah, and right. I think that Maddie's not the brightest bulb no but I think that true. even Maddie should damaged. have a little bit more credit in his friends because even if you don't, don't want to believe your ex-girlfriend that's fine Sadie on the other hand has been your friend through the thick everything. and thin but now he everything. thinks that she's in but love even, with him but even regardless of that why wouldn't if she's coming to you saying like hey this girl is crazy separate the feelings I might Listen to my best he friend a little both bit. Both of them regardless. are in love with him, though. But also, and he thinks he might be having a baby, and Ugh. he does that like whole adoption bomb. Him. Like he's in a really hard place too. I feel like he needs yeah. real, a lot of love and support. And whether it's real or not, Eva's giving it to him. But regardless, like even before the pregnancy bomb, he was still not believing anything that these girls were saying to him. But well, they I were she acting kind of crazy him before yeah. that. Yeah, because she, she's very they were manipulative. Like, yeah, I think she told Maddie before the girls got there. I'm talking pregnant. about like the bus pass episode. But like, like think about it, like Sadie that. went crazy on her on the bus. Like she jumped out on him. She doesn't know what, like what was communicated between them. And even the thing them. with the underwear in the bedroom. Right. He, she told him like, oh, she she made this whole thing up. Like she's manipulated him so much that he probably thinks all of his friends well, are crazy. And yeah, she but, thinks that Jenna didn't send the. The college application email, you know? Yeah, and I I mean, I understand his mindset. I'm just saying that as a friend, you'd think that you'd have a little bit more faith yeah. 
in your friendships than maybe what he's not get, Jenna, like though. even with e- yeah maybe not with Jenna but even with Eva in your ear manipulating you you should still be able to look at one of your friends and be like you know what you don't, don't usually act sides. like this let yeah. me let me but look at both sides it's hard when you're getting snow jobs yeah that's yeah. very true you know? it's hard when you're in love and vulnerable and in a low place <laughs> Giselle, sorry to hear you. <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's okay, Giselle. We're he here for call you. you for two weeks. And you're... Um, <laughs> the only thing that I definitely was very proud of Maddie for was when they took the stop on the way down the mountain. Yeah, and he was like, "Hey, why don't we just do that pregnancy test one more time just to make sure?" Yeah, I mean, of course, it came out positive. But I'm thinking that she <laughs> stole a bum's pee. And then pushes her down the mountain. <laughs> exactly. Whoopsies. Do you think that she might really be pregnant? Not I by think, him. Wait, when did they first have sex, though? Because doesn't it feel like... In the car after he got out of jail, right? How long ago was that? Who knows? I wish we knew like, the time frame. Because I, I felt like it was too, too well, soon to be Well, she said she pregnant. only had one missed period. Stratospheric says Maddie is a D-bag. He should have listened to his friends. Thank you. Agreed. True that. Agreed. Yeah. But we don't know how long it's been since they had sex because, I mean, in my mind, it's been three days and it's impossible to get pregnant that fast. Do you think she could be having sex with other people? Oh. Yeah. yeah her neighbors. Her grandma. Her <laughs> grandma. <laughs> Flowers in that attic. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. She could be. I mean, that's the thing. We don't know any. Yeah, we don't anything. know what she does when she leaves school. We don't know anything real about her. Yeah. So Everything she, she told us is a lie. <laughs> she could be walking around thing. with some pregnant lady's pee just to go into a bathroom. Can you do Maybe. That? We should have done Orange is the New Black and had someone stand in that stall with her and watch her totally. pee. Totally. Maybe she came to high school pregnant. Oh. Mm. And she plotted. She's like, I need a daddy. She's like, yeah. I need and a that's dad. why she came to the high school because she read Jenna's blog and she tried to find the I best dad to be my dad for her child. <laughs> Damn, this girl is crazy. That's what happened, I bet. <laughs> I'm just mostly scared because I feel like she might have mental health issues. Well, and clearly. I really... <laughs> Well, I mean, just because you're a compulsive liar doesn't mean that you're I think actually that is like. A mental health issue. But I, I think she's like schizophrenic or something, and might go off her meds and then actually like try to kill Maddie or something. Did you see when like that little scene? It was just her and Sadie, and they were like super up close in the eyes. I just thought she was gonna stab Sadie. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, this is how scared I got. I was like, something is gonna go down, and it's not gonna be good. But I feel like Sadie's the one person that would just like give it right back. Yeah, to her. totally. She's probably scared of Sadie still. I, I love Sadie. I'm so surprised much. that though in her room there's the X on Sadie. I think because she sabotaged her relationship, so she thinks she got to oh, her. Yeah. Oh, like oh, I see. Like she's yeah. trying. It's like the um thing on Mean Girls. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. Where they like cross it off on the chalkboard. <laughs> oh, I got it. Yeah. It was. I kind of like. The... I think she wants to crush Sadie and kill Jenna. Like yeah, emotionally. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I like the, the wrap pencil. up at the end though. Mm-hmm. Because I really do feel like this season, Jenna has actually... Last season, I'm like, God, Jenna's such a horrible person. Like, yes, obviously have as much sex with Colin as you want. But, <laughs> like, she's, like, growing up and, like, I know I should be happy for Maddie. But, like, thinking things through in her head and, like, trying to be an adult. And I feel like I like... Like, that's what I like about the show is it's, like, realistic. I liked that about Jenna this season. And I felt bad for her that Luke basically said she still needed to grow up because she got sucked into something that someone was out to get her. Yeah, I'm over It wasn't like she was trying to make this weekend. You know, first of all, he wasn't supposed to be there. Right. So mindset wise, maybe she didn't think she'd have to deal with her boyfriend being there. Frustrating that he wasn't on her side at the same time. Glad they broke up because college and high school just does not be together. Yeah, I never was a big fan of him. Of his, to be I honest. Him. I don't know. He just never seemed genuine to me. Like, they just... It never seemed Too right. different. And yeah. it seems weird to me, and then a little creepy, that, like, I get if somebody's in high school and then their boyfriend goes off to college and they stay together. Right. But, like, you're already a sophomore in college. college. Why would you want to date a high school totally. senior? Yeah. Creepy. Like, creepy. Pedophile. And go on her high school senior Yeah. Trip. Yeah. And then he, like, keeps popping up at things. Go uh. away. Like, go study. Bye. Go to a toga party, Luke. Just bye, Felicia. I knew that was coming. (laughs) Bye, Felicia. You know I love saying that. Um, Yeah, let's get into... Do you guys have anything else to talk about from tonight's episode before... 
It was just honestly yeah, just I tons just of curveballs. I so don't much even happened. Know. But I got it. We got to give it to the writers because we did. You go into this episode thinking you're gonna be scared. No. Or shocked, no. or like I thought there was gonna I be resolution gonna be... immediately at the get- at La Ma. Yeah, okay. I, I struggled to talk. <laughs> that's too. how it made the rest of us feel too. And that's Giselle. what happened. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I will say the writers and you know they they got new showrunners for this season, so you know the style of the show and <laughs> they everything ran the dance just, thing. has just changed. And I thought that they did a great job. But if you need some more ideas, you know where to find us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're right here. Uh, and these are our predictions. <laughs> these are our <laughs> predictions for the rest of the season. And now, your After Buzz TV predictions. Well, you guys made me say mine earlier, so now it's you, y'all's turn to go. Okay. I think that Sadie and Sergio are going to get together. Oh, yes. And it'll yes. be so hot. And that's all I care about. I, I mean, <laughs> I hope that wiener in her hand. Yeah, I hope Two that wieners. happens. <laughs> one food truck. <laughs> That's the title of episode eleven. <laughs> Two wieners, one food truck. That's, you guys are ridiculous. That sounds like a dream. I don't even have a prediction because I'm so like my head's all over the place. Too many different things happened in this episode. I predict <laughs> that Eva's next. Victim will be tomorrow. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh, I like that. I like where your head's at, Zeus. Right. Giselle, I think tomorrow is in the safe zone. If anything, I think it could be Jake. Um, but I think she could actually be pregnant, but it's not Maddie's, and it's Mr. Hamilton. She's a Jenna Stalker. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> very possible as well. Um, she's Jenna Stalker and wants Maddie to be the baby daddy. Guys, remember how Jenna kept getting responses from one like anonymous person and never knows who that uh, person is? This is like Gossip Girl now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Remember she always gets responses like randomly on postings? Oh my gosh. We had never had a name. Yeah. What does that mean? And so Same. what if it was her? I don't have goosebumps. Oh, my okay. God. You oh do. Like, I do have goosebumps. During the wow. off season, we need to research this. This yes. is crazy. Guys, oh my gosh. So does anyone think that Tamara and Jake will end up back getting back together at some point? At some I point. Mm, I, think, I don't I think, think they're think so. going to hook up to orgasm, but then that's it. Oh, you think Just she like will one orgasm? Last I was going to say, because once you've had a big O, you don't want to go back to no O at all. Yeah. I don't think they will be to back together as a couple. Okay. And we think that Jenna and Luke are completely done. Done so, yeah. yeah. I hope so. No more I, Luke. I do too. I hope yeah. Colin, please, please, please bring Colin back. Oh, for the love of God. I would love that too. Yeah. No, Jenna's in such a good place. She doesn't need Colin around. She, uh, we her, need Colin yeah, around. He can put us in a good place. <laughs> you go Maybe find someone him. will come in semester, but that'd be dumb. Yeah. I hope Jenna gets into college. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of hope she doesn't. Oh, I kind of yeah. was just thinking, like, now that her so and Luke we- are done, you know, is she going to want to go to school there? Wait, so then oh. I'm thinking this has to be the end of Awkward. No. This next, this, the, after this mid-season, like, this has to be the series finale, right? Because they, they go until college. Saved by the Bell happens. Well, and the in OC the OC still area, happens. So they can go to, like, UCLA and still, you know what Gossip I mean? Gossip yeah. Girl still happens. Glee. Glee is still happening. Giselle, you're wrong. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's know Awkward. Anything. The college years. Oh. <laughs> There's my prediction. They they get even more awkward. (laughs) All right. Well, if you guys want to keep this conversation going, where can they find you on social media? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at the Tiana Hobson. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Yes. You You can can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Miss Zias. You can find you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Jason Eichler. Aww. <laughs> and you can find me at Giselle Ugardi. And make sure you check out all the shows on AfterBuzz TV's website, AfterBuzzTV.com, and follow us on, face- on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at AfterBuzz TV. And this was the mid-season finale, so we won't <laughs> be back with you guys until the fall, but thank you for watching our show. Thank you for your tweets and your messages and your questions for all our guests. Thanks to all the guests yeah. who came in. Yeah. Yeah. This season, we had such an amazing time. I feel season. like everyone on YouTube, please comment your predictions because we love it when you do that, and they're always really hilarious. So Agreed. Agreed. Well, until the fall, guys, we will see you later. 
from executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. You're welcome. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.